Happy New Year's! It's Kelsey Rihanna J here with the Punk Couture collection review and in this video I'm going to do swatches and show you all the comparisons of the lipsticks that I picked up from this collection. In this collection they came out with four different lipsticks, three cream sheens, an eyeshadow palette, three pigments which are um, permanents and also they came out with having a hard time recalling. It seems like they had something else in this collection. Let me look real quick. Okay, so they had the Punk Couture eyeshadow times four. So four eyeshadows. They came out with three pigments, True, Sar True Chartreuse, Neo Orange, and Magenta Madness, which are all three permanent. Hot and Naughty, Two Black Lash, which is permanent. Pen Ultimate Eyeliner, they just throw stuff in there that's permanent. And Eye Cold. Then they came out with four different lipsticks, Static Kiss, Instigator, Punk Couture, and Hot Core. Cream Sheen Glasses and Jet Boy, No Apologies, and Dark Outsider, and then Nail Lacquer and Impassioned, Formidable, and Nocturnal. Uh oh, I got a text message. Okay. Alright, so all I picked up from this collection are the four lipsticks, and one of which I had already ordered and had it during Black Friday, so I guess that, you know, I, I still bought it from this collection. Well, I didn't buy it from this collection, but it's included in this collection. So let me just go ahead and get started, baby. I hope that you all are having a very, very, very good year so far because I am. Okay, so first, let's talk about Punk Couture. You know what? First, let's talk about the entire collection. This collection is called Punk Couture. So, I stayed up. It came out the day after Christmas, December 26, 2013. So, I bought this stuff last year. I'm so sorry. But anyways, I stayed up and tried to get it online because I thought they were giving pro discount online so I thought they were gonna release it midnight um, central time but they didn't or eastern time no 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 yes central time is what I was waiting for first and they didn't release the central time they was like okay so maybe it'll be eastern time so I waited eastern time and then it didn't pop up then so I'm like, okay so maybe it's pacific time so I waited up until like four o'clock in the morning to see if it's gonna come on the website so I could just go ahead and order it stalking but it did not so I ended up going to sleep and I woke back up and it was online like at 8 o'clock because I wanted to go down to Dillard's to pick up the lipsticks that I want to make sure I have. Well, the day after Christmas Dillard's opened at 9 o'clock so I was going to plan to be there so I woke up at 8 and the stuff was online. Okay the stuff was online but the pro discount wasn't applying so I was mad so I got up and I, and I went down to Dillard's and I got my lipsticks. I was like 7th in line. I was like 7th in line behind like this one girl and and um, Punk Couture I almost didn't get that lipstick if she wouldn't have put one of hers back because she said she wanted to. So like, dang, thank God. Anyways, um, so I ended up getting all the lipsticks I wanted. And so I was like, what's up with them not giving the pro discount? So anyways, I go back home, I get in the car and I look and then it, they said that it was a system glitch and then they were giving pro discount. But I had already bought them. Thanks! So I just kept them and I said I'm not gonna I'm not gonna deal with that because by the time I do all that then I may not get them or and then I still have to pay for shipping and all this so I was like forget it so I just kept the ones I had so blah all right so this is punk couture this is a matte lipstick it's a dark purple very pretty it's almost blue y'all all right so I have not swatched this lipstick but because I really really love y'all I'll go ahead and swatch my lipstick if you hear some noise it's my fan I'm like I'm dying hot and everybody else is cold so I'm just gonna have to leave my fan on even though it's making me a little stuffy but whatever so let me do a swatch of punk couture which in my opinion is like the star of the collection and it's the most beautiful color it's a darkened purple it almost looks blue this is the main one I wanted that's so pretty. Alright, so that's Punk Couture. And then I have a few lipsticks that I would like to compare them to. I don't have anything very similar. But, I'll show you what I have. Okay, so, if you've been watching my channel, then you may know that Heroin is my favorite lipstick in life. This is actually my shortest lipstick that I own. This and Ruby Woo are my shortest lipsticks because I have so many that it's hard for me to wear the same one a lot. 
this is punk couture and this is heroin as you can see punk couture is deeper than heroin but heroin still is in that blue purple family so i do a swatch let you see that so heroin is definitely much brighter than punk couture but it's such a beautiful color and if you don't know by now they have made heroin per permanent which i'm going to talk about in a separate video the next one I want to show you is Strong Women. Again, this this is a limited edition lipstick and it's a darkened purple color. But this one leans more blue. But I think if you get heroin and you wear like maybe Night Moth lip liner and mix in a little bit of a blue pigment maybe, that you may get this effect. But this is Strong Woman. This came out with the Strong Woman collection last year or year before last. It's hard for me to keep up and it is also a matte lipstick okay so that is punk couture heroin and strong woman i saw online where this girl or this lady lorelei Lor, i think her name is lorelei lorelei anyway she makes this cosmetic brand called milk cosmetics and she has a color that's really similar from what i see online it looks super similar from online so that may be worth checking out okay so next what the frick is that? What the frick is that? What what the frick is that? Frick up, what the frick is that? Where's the lipstick? Oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay. So the next color that I want to talk about is called Studded Kiss. And I was actually on the fence about buying this color because I felt like I had colors that are very similar and I rarely you know switch it up i always kind of wear the same color from this family um this one is studded kiss i've worn this one once uh this is my first time wearing one of the other colors that i picked up from this collection but i've worn this color once and it is gorgeous i don't regret picking it up it is a blackened red color very very sexy i probably will wear this sometimes during valentine's something like that but i would definitely see myself getting a lot of use out of it in the upcoming months uh, let me do a swatch of it. This is also a matte lipstick. It's so pretty. It's like a black and red. It's so pretty. So anyways, of course I have lipsticks that are similar. I dropped one. So, Steady Kiss. The first one that I want to compare to would probably be Deeply Adored. Deeply Adored is one of my favorite lipsticks. So these are these two compared. Deeply Adored has more red to it. Steady Kiss has more of a brown tone to it. Deeply Adored is one of my favorite lipsticks as well. But I think they are very similar. If you are looking for that type of look, the darkened, vampy, sexy red. So there's... Uh-oh. I got a little bit of a mess. Okay, so there's um, Studded Kiss and Deeply Adored. And as you can see, Deeply Adored is a bit brighter. It's not as brown based, but they are in the same color family. I think both of these colors are extremely sexy. The next one is a permanent lipstick, and it's called Diva. This is probably the closest lipstick. Even though both of these are a matte finish, Diva is a little bit more dry than Steady Kiss. Steady Kiss is like the new retro matte finish that MAC makes, but they didn't label it retro matte. Um, so, yeah, there's this. Diva is darker than Steady Kiss. Steady Kiss is more red. Diva is a little bit more brown. But on the lips, especially if you plan to wear like a lip liner with it, it could look super similar and people wouldn't be able to tell the difference. So there's Static Kiss, Deeply Adore, and Diva. And as I said before, Diva is a permanent lipstick. So you can just go up to the matte counter at your convenience and pick it up. Okay, so next is Fixed on Drama. Fixed on Drama came out with the Retro Matte Collection not too long ago. This is a limited edition lipstick, but I think it's relatively easier to get than a lot of limited edition lipsticks that make can, comes out with so this is steady kiss this is fixed on drama fixed on drama is darker more brown than steady kiss okay so there it is right there very very similar in coloring very very similar but fixed on drama is slightly more brown hued and then lastly it's just a bite this came out with honestly 
of all the I don't really remember what collection this came out with, but I bought it because I love this color. And this one is very vamp. Darker in the tube. It looks like it will be the darkest one or darker than Set a Kiss even, but it's not. It's actually brighter. This is a satin lipstick too, so it's not as shine. So yeah, here's a recap of all the hues. See this one, I feel like it can be duped just because, you see how many colors I have that are like that one almost a little bit off you know and i said in 2014 i'm not buying lipsticks just because it looks kind of like that sort of like that a little bit like that oh it's one little shade different oh this one has one fleck of glitter and this one has two flecks of glitter no 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 my madness has to stop has to stop okay, so next i got hot core i actually got hot core during black friday it was online for one day only i checked online like around 10 30 eastern time and it was on the internet and i hurriedly ordered it then it is a matte black lipstick this is not the first time mac has come out with the black lipstick i do love mac's formula so i think i probably am going to be loving this lipstick just to be honest and real with you guys i have not worn it i have not swatched it i've had it since Black Friday, which is crazy. It's like a month and some change ago, and I still haven't opened it. But I have been saving it for this video. So let me just go ahead and do a swatch of that. It is just truly a flat matte black. It ha Well, it kind of has some kind of sheen to it, but it doesn't have any gloss. So it's like the retro mattes that MAC has. I don't have another matte black lipstick to compare right this second. Even though I do have one from Wet n Wild that's in my makeup kit in Memphis. But I don't have it with me right now. But I do have one lipstick that I want to um, compare it with. This is Firm, Firm Form. And this is also a matte lipstick by MAC. It's not straight up black like Hot Core. But I will do a swatch to compare them. But this is the closest lipstick that I have to that. Firm Form has a little bit of like gray in it. It's like a matte gray almost. And as you can see, they are similar. And they have the similar finish to them. And honestly, I haven't worn Firm Form as much as I should. I think I'm going to do another video, a separate video, where I talk about like my makeup resolutions for this year. So... Yep, that's that. Alright, so lastly is Investigator, or not Investigator. I want to call this lipstick Investigator so bad, but it's called Instigator. I have that on my lips, and it is like a dark, deep, vampy purple. I don't have on a lip liner with it, I just put it on straight. But this is it right here. Just a darkened purple lipstick so I do a swatch of that so that's it right there right there and as you can see this is instigator and that's punk couture they were in the same color family in this collection but instigator is the deeper sister of punk couture punk couture is heroin is heroin's edgy sister so instigator is Punk Couture's edgy, edgy sister slash brother. So yeah, that did not make sense, but I'm just going to go with that. So I have three lipsticks that I want to compare that to. Firstly being Cyber. Cyber is a permanent color that is available at all matte counters all the time. And there's Cyber. My Cyber is pretty new. I had to back to MAC for a Cyber not too long ago, so I don't think I've used this one. Or maybe once. Okay, so there's Punk Couture and there's Cyber. And as you can see, Cyber is a hair darker. And it didn't have as much purple undertone, but you can still see they're in the same family. Honestly, on your lips, honestly, on your lips, they'll pretty much be like the same color. So that's Cyber. Okay, so next I want to compare instigator to smoked purple which is one of my favorite lipsticks so here's instigator here's smoked purple 
Okay, so Smoked Purple is just like Cyber, except it's more purple. So I think it's like this lip color. This is what Smoked Purple pretty much looks like on my lips. Except for it's a little bit more matte. So there it is. All of them, because I'm so light tan, all of them pretty much kind of look like this when I put them on my lips. Okay, so there's instigator they're cyber and they're smoked purple and that's smoked purple compared to cyber if anybody was ever wondering like what do those two lipsticks look like next to each other that's it because i know i was wondering for a while like what's the difference you see all these lipsticks are super super close if you aren't able to get this lipstick or any of these lipsticks like besides punk couture which i think will probably be the most unique one i think a good substitutes not dudes but substitutes Okay, so that was Smoke Purple. And then lastly is Film Noir, which is also a permanent color at MAC. This one is more red toned than purple. And actually, I'm going to put it next to Studded Kiss and let you see it there. So there it is next to Studded Kiss. But then here it is next to Instigator. Right there. So these are my overall overall swatches of this collection. In all, I really, really love and enjoy dark collections. I like the dark vampiness of lipsticks. I've really gotten into that these past like maybe two years. My first lipstick that I bought from MAC was a red from the Venomous Villains collection. But then my second lipstick that I bought from the permanent collection was Diva. So I've always had... Who in the world is that? had like an obsession with the dark lipsticks and so I really really appreciate this collection I think it was worth my while getting these lipsticks and waking up in the morning even though I only had a few hours of sleep to purchase them so I really really am glad that I have them I will put my lipsticks to better use and I hope this video helped anybody that was maybe bummed out because they weren't able to pick up any lipsticks from this collection or it may help people who have lipsticks in their collection but like me they just keep adding and adding and adding and adding and they don't know like what's similar and what's not because it's always a good idea to see videos where you see something that's very similar to know like what you need and what you don't need for your collection so yeah i hope that this video helped anybody um make sure if you have any questions comments or concerns to leave them in the comment section youtube has not been giving me all my comments because when i go back and i look on my videos i see that i have more comments than i have notifications for so i'll just be trying to make sure to go and look at the videos afterwards so i can be able to respond to you guys uh so yeah anyways thumbs up this video if you like it i'm also on instagram at kelsey brianna j if you want to follow me there so here's my swatches and i hope that you all are enjoying your year and i hope that everything is going your way i want you to have an absolutely fabulous day and i hope to see you back on my channel smooches mwah mwah bye